In this problem, we'll be determining the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the charge of a specific atom. Here we have a carbon atom. That C stands for carbon. Uh, and so the first thing we want to look at is the number of protons, which we can always find looking at the number right there in the bottom left side. That's called the atomic number. Atomic number. This is going to equal the number of protons. In this case, since the number here is 6, the number of protons for carbon is going to be 6. And this is always going to be the case. So the atomic number is always the number of protons, always for carbon. If that number changes, that's going to be a different element. Let's look at, look at the number of neutrons. And to figure out the number of neutrons, we have to look at the total mass. This is called the mass number. And the number of neutrons equals the mass number minus the number of protons. In this case, it's going to equal 12 minus 6, which equals 6. For the number of electrons, we have to take a look at the charge of the atom, which is located on the upper right hand. If there is zero charge, then the number of protons equals the number of electrons. However, my charge here is plus 2. Now I can't take away any protons, but I can take away electrons. So if I have a charge of plus 2, that means I have to take away two electrons, which means I should have six minus two. I should have four electrons, which makes my charge plus two. And that's how you figure out the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and charge of an atom.